If you think that today's insects and creepy crawlies are scary, dangerous and at times pretty annoying, wait until you see what some prehistoric eras had in store when it comes to bugs, insects and arthropods. You will probably be thankful to be alive today, because some of them were literal fuel for your nightmares. But before we look at some specific giant species, let's first find out as to why they were even able to grow so big and why insects today are way smaller. Giant insects and bugs emerged in the Paleozoic era, lasting from roughly 450 million years ago to about 250 million years ago. Fossil records suggest that they especially widely developed in the Devonian geological period between 419 million and 358 million years ago and the following era named the Carboniferous period. During that time, temperatures and humidity were higher, increasing metabolism, but more importantly, the oxygen levels in the Earth's atmosphere were also significantly higher than today's oxygen levels. With an oxygen percentage of over 30%, compared to today's 20.95%, the gigantism across a number of invertebrates was fueled. Arthropods, a group of invertebrate animals that include insects, millipedes and spiders, do not have lungs to breathe air like we do. Instead, they will collect oxygen through small openings in their bodies called spiracules. Those spiracules branch out into a network of tubes that diffuse the gas throughout their bodies. The high oxygen concentration at those prehistoric times allowed them to continue growing because it remained easy for them to absorb the gas at ever-increasing sizes. Eventually, there were two things happening which most likely decreased the presence of giant bugs. On the one hand, the atmosphere changed to have less oxygen percentages. The other reason were dinosaurs, and especially the evolution of predatory birds, likely feeding on the insects and bugs. As birds began appearing roughly 150 million years ago, insect sizes in the fossil records began plummeting. And now that we got that out of the way, let's look at some specific giant arthropod species that were roaming the earth and also the oceans at prehistoric times. Meganeuropsis permiana is the monstrous distant relative of the dragonflies you see today. It was flying around on our planet in the Permian era roughly 300 to 250 million years ago. This giant dragonfly is the largest of all prehistoric insects that we know of and could grow to be over 40 cm long with an even bigger wingspan of about 70 cm. The Meganeuropsis permiana likely lived in open areas, feeding on smaller insects which it could spot and stalk with its fairly oversized eyes. As a comparison, among the biggest dragonflies today are the Australian giant paddletail with roughly 12.5 cm or the giant dana with roughly 12.7 cm in body length and wingspan. Not only flying insects grew to immense sizes, also land-based insects and arthropods were giants. The Atropleura amata lived in the Carboniferous era and belonged to the genus of millipede. It roamed the coal forests and could grow up to an astonishing 2.5 meters, therefore being one of the largest, if not the largest known land invertebrate to ever exist. As a comparison to today's millipedes, this is outrageous. As the biggest millipede currently living on our planet, we have the African giant millipede, growing roughly over 30 centimeters long. The Atropleura amata is believed to have been a herbivore feeding on fruits, seeds and sporophylls. But still, I wouldn't want to stumble across one of these strolling through the forest on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Thankfully, we all don't have to. If you like the giant millipede, how about a giant scorpion? The Jaecolopterus renaniae lived in the Devonian period about 390 million years ago. In fact, it was a sea scorpion swimming and lurking underwater where you couldn't see him. There was a fossil found of this animal, which was a 46 cm long jawed claw of this sea scorpion. That allows the assumption that the complete animal reaches a body length of around 2.5 meters, challenging the giant millipede from before in size. It is believed, although considered a sea scorpion, that this creature preferred rivers and swamps and in that area certainly being towards the top of his food chain at that time. 
And as a comparison to today's scorpions, the biggest scorpion currently on Earth is the giant forest scorpion with a length of about 23 centimeters, which is definitely big enough if you ask me. So if you are scared of the ocean, maybe because of sharks or whatever, think about that this fine thing might still lurk in the deep unexplored parts of our ocean just waiting till you swim by. Just kidding, but actually making this video makes me feel relieved that the oxygen levels in our atmosphere have changed and big birds evolved to challenge the gigantism in arthropods. There are still some big and scary insects flying and crawling around today, but that is maybe a topic for a future video. For now I want to thank you for watching this video, maybe give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new videos. It is absolutely free and only takes one click. Anyway, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.